that comes up very often in the, these interviews. And I'm it's, sure. It's like a very, there's a thread though. And, uh, and everybody has like, a, and that's why I want to pick your brain about this. Like everybody has a different lens and how they've experienced that. But we all somehow, <laughs> there's that feeling of like, why can't we put, why, what is it about our, our childhood or the way we were growing up where we're like, you know what? It's so hard to do that. <laughs> what, why, what, what, for you, what, what do you, what have you assessed in your journey of like, what, why do you think? Well, I realize now your past life regression. Okay, I love it. <laughs> um, I realized looking back at my childhood that the Robert that I was then was a Robert of survival. So I was doing what I needed to do to make sure that I fit in enough where I didn't attract enough attention to be called out for being different. So I could be perceived as being the same enough so that I can play along, yeah. so that I can be present. Yeah. Um, and now it's unacceptable. Like, no, I don't want it. And in <laughs> fact, at one point uh, recently, I was having a bit of a disagreement okay. with my family. Okay. And love those. This family member. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I love you guys. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. Um, this family <laughs> member said, "I don't like this Robert." <gasps> no, 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 no. And okay, I sat okay. with it okay. for a while. Oh yeah, I would too. Yeah. Because at they first, said it I'm to like, your face? They said it to my face. Okay, great. And I sat with it, mm. and at first, my first instinct is, how do I fix it? How do I get rid of the ick? How do I get rid of the sick feeling? Um, mm. So yeah, my first instinct is to fix it. Oh no, um. that's not me. I'm, ha 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 ha, the tap oh. dance and everything. But I held back and realized, like, you don't like the robber that you essentially had control of. You don't like the Robert that makes you uncomfortable, that challenges what you set forth as like a family dynamic. It's not my problem. I'm 40 years old, I'm still discovering who I am. Um, so who are you to tell me that you don't like the person that I'm trying to find out who I am? Who in your life told you that they don't like who you are? <laughs> Why would you say that to someone? I, that makes no sense. Why right? would you say that to someone? And so, I had to think on that. Yeah. Why would you say that to someone? Because yeah. you're not comfortable with who you are. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. But like, it's also not for me to figure out or to take on. Yeah. Let me figure out my own shit. But that's a huge thing to, for you to say, like, I'm not, I'm not going to take that on. That means that you have made a true, uh, what is it? Now you're truly in a new chapter because you're able to, you probably would have taken that on, the for old sure. you probably. I and that's, so, that's re resilience, I do think so. I think so. As queer people, we're told that we're no good in general. We're never going to find love. <laughs> Our life is going to be awful. Can't have family. We're, yeah, no family. No family. You're probably going to end up murdered or have AIDS. Yeah. And so you're only going to live until you're 20 anyway. Yeah. You're going to go to hell. Forgot yeah. that one. I keep forgetting about the You forgot about aspect. that one. It's very, That's very a huge heavy. one. I mean, I don't, it's a, it's a huge one. Um, yeah, but they're just like just the colorful things, you know. All the lovely All little the things lovely that little we get things. to work against. But yeah. we, we feel like, it's funny, it's interesting because you, you share with me that you, you were in a home that was open and safe, but it's like, even when you have that, it's still like, you still feel that othered and that, you know, yeah. from society and, 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 and everything. So it's it's a lot to carry. And I think as queer people, like I'm really happy that you are like, I don't know if this is gonna resonate with you, but it's like, I think you're like, Someone says like you're stepping into your power. Oh, for sure. As a queer person, it's like I used to think that like being gay was like such a limiting thing. Like I was so afraid. I was like, this is what I'm going to be known for, and it's a bad thing, and this and that. And and thankfully, you know, I think the universe has shown me that like it's a it, it's limitless. And the idea that because of our queerness, we are actually more open to figuring out who we are and being open right. to finding that out. And that is a liberating yeah. experience and feeling. And so when they see you in that liberating space where you're like, I, I, I don't know who I am, I'm figuring it out and it's, and it's a lovely thing. And they're like, yeah, they're, they're scared of that because they, yeah. where do they find that? Like, that's the one thing where queerness lets you kind of do that. Where do they get to find that? Where do they get to find that hole to be like, okay, I'm gonna, 
what's what's on the other side? You know, what else is there to than just this? There's a little bit of jealousy involved. Don't you think? <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit is what I'm. Yeah, that's. Uh... I I think you I think you hit it spot on. I I think people see queer people and they're like, why are they so happy all the time? Why are they so flamboyant? Yeah. We're that way because we've worked so. Sorry, we've you worked so it. hard. Apparently, YouTube, you can't say fuck like in the, within the first like five seconds. Oh, so we're and well then after into that, it. we're okay. Yeah, so if you want to oh, say it, go for it. <laughs> um, but what you find is we've had to work so hard yes. to be able to get to that joyful yes. space that we're yes. embracing it yes. to its fullest extent. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be happy. Yeah, I'm going to march down that parade route because oh. I've worked hard and the people around me have worked hard to be able to be oh happy. My God base level happy yes so why not go above that if you have the opportunity yes. to do so we that, live in a colorful world that, let's embrace it when we have the opportunity to you know it's um it's great to share this space with you robert because i had an experience earlier this year where uh, i was reminded of like because of me just baseline being proud of who i am and with my with my wife and you know the business we have and all this stuff i was told by someone else you know basically to like, that it's like, this is a lot, you know, it's too much. And I'm like, wow, that's so interesting because to me, it's like, this is just baseline. Like, yeah. And also it's like, it's, I mean, I, it's taken me 35 years to like be able to just baseline, be happy and this and that. And for them, it was like so loud. Right. And to me, and, and having this conversation with you right now, I'm like, damn, like, I wonder how unhappy that person is to yeah. think that that is like a, I'm, I'm being too much, you know, it's like, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's a weird way to think, and it's a weird thing to put onto someone else. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Yeah. Mind your business. Yeah. Mind your torta. Yeah, let's do the torta before it gets. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Oh, I love that. 